The next part for our wound care skill, we are going to be treating uh, an in incision or laceration. And in this case, uh, we just have about a, a half inch cut open. Uh, again, some of the things we're going to need are going to be some saline. Uh, we're going to use two different uh, techniques. We're going to use something called uh, steri strips, and we're also going to use a butterfly bandage as well uh, to help close the wound. Uh, we already have our gloves on. Um, another thing that what we want to do is, you know, after we inspect it, we can again help control the bleeding with our, our gauze. Um, and once the bleeding stopped, and we, we know the size of our wound. Um, one of the things we want to do is we want to make, make sure that the sides of the steri strips or the sides of, sides of the butterfly bandage stick to the sides. And there's two different methods that we can use. Uh, we have something called a, a, a stick it capsule. Uh, with this one, it, there's a little dot in the middle if you kind of push the two ends together. and uh, break the seal and lift that end off and then we can rub this on, on the edges. Uh, you can do this for any bandage, especially if it, they happen to be over a sweaty area. Uh, also, if it happens to be an um, you know, area that might have some hair, we can always use a, um, a razor uh, to shave some of the hair. Uh, um, so this is like uh, just liquid glue. Just make sure that you don't get it uh, on top of the, the wound. An another technique that we can use uh, if we don't have the stick it ampules, uh, we can use uh, something called tough skin or something similar uh, and a cotton tip applicator. And with this one we're just going to spray this onto the top of the cotton tip applicator. Then again just apply this uh, to the edges, the sides a few millimeters away from the, the wound because that's what you're, you would attach, that area is where you would attach the base of the steri strip and the, and the bandage. Okay. Okay, to clean the wound, uh, uh, we want to make sure that we have our saline and not our, uh, any, any other product. Um, we would clean the wound with the gauze ready and make sure that we have our gloves on and collect all bloody parts. Uh, and at that time we would apply the adhesive on the edges uh, with our two methods. And then once we, we are ready for our butterfly bandage, another thing that we always want to make sure that we ask them is we always, always want to check for signs of infection or ha have them check for signs of infection later for, in the, for any open wound. Uh, but especially for this one because whatever caused uh, the incision or laceration uh, might uh, cause, a, cause infections. So again, for this one we'll just take out the, the center parts. And again, if we needed to, uh, this is pretty much a flat area and, it, and it's okay. Um, but it, if uh, we might need, need a butterfly or a steri strip on the uh, the body, body part, uh, eyebrow or something, it's, it's always, you can always shorten this uh, if you needed to, to do that. When you put on the stair step, you want to make sure that uh, you need to determine how many you need. Um, in this case, we'll probably uh, need two. Um, but you always want to put them on one side, okay? One of the things you always want to make sure that you do when you're applying is you always want to uh, pinch the skin when you're applying these, okay? So push the, the two sides of the skin together, push the skin together, and then apply your, your bandage. And hopefully it, it'll stick to the uh, adhesive glue that you put down on, on the other end. Uh, and then again, we would do the same thing in the opposite direction, again, uh, with the butterfly. As I mentioned, just for time's sake, I'm gonna 
use a steri strip. And the steri strip here, uh, this one has a, uh, the steri strips here um, uh, are along this, this lengthwise here. And we can obviously cut this down to the size that we need it. And then removing the steri strip from this. Again, applying it in the opposite direction. Again, pushing the skin together. We'd attach it to the other side. And putting these, and then pulling and attaching it that from one side to the other side. Again, if we're having our glue there, it would stick better. And then we can also, once that is applied, uh, then we can apply our uh, you know, another bandage over the adhesive bandage or some something covering to over the top of this one. Help protect a little bit more. Again, remind them to wash it and check for signs of uh, infection later on. Refer them if you need to and check on them daily. Dispose of all of your uh, garbage and biohazardous materials uh, in their appropriate locations. And that is it.